Hello. So this is a information system development course for industrial and management engineering, Hankook University of Foreign Studies. And I am going to explain the syllabus that you are going to use for this semester. And I hope that you are uh, staying with this course. I'm going to make a new title of this course, which is about the new generation of information system. So the first step that I want to explain in this course is the course objective, uh, and then the instructor profile, and then the instructional design, and the remarks. So the integrated development environment that I'm going to use for this course. So the course objective of this information system development, uh, you will learn at least two things. Okay? Two big things that you will learn in this semester is about the uh, web programming skills and the information system concepts. The web programming skills are related with the Django Python syntax. So uh, I hope that uh, this semester you will learn about Django, what is Django and what is Python how can we connect the Python and Django? And you will learn about the database, JavaScript, and also the single page application. So if you already have the background of database, it will be good. But if you don't have, then let's see. You can try to learn a little bit from this course. And for the information system concept that you will learn in one semester is how can you identify and how you can you plan a system. And after you know the, the system identification and planning, you will analyze the system. And then you need to design <coughs> and you need to implement the system. <coughs> so the profile of the instructor is this one. Yeah, my name is Bernardo Nugro Yahya. And I'm now working at the uh, of Yongin, and my office is in the engineering building number 514. If you want to make a call, then you can just call my office number, it is 0304941. -0 if you have any uh, issues with the uh, information system development, you can just call me. But of course, I'm not be, I will not be in the office all the time. So you can drop me in an email, just write an email on penado at half.ac.kr. Then, yeah, I will try to respond to your email as soon as possible. Uh, for, for my professional experience, I am now an associate professor. And I was doing my postdoc at UNIS and I was a researcher at the Busan National University. So the instructional design, oops, okay. So the instructional design that I'm going to explain is about the uh, yeah, first is about the class of view. Okay. So I guess this one has been set with the uh, uh, timer. Okay, I will just uh, try to find the timer. I don't know how to delete timer. So the time of the class will be on Tuesday and Thursday. Okay. So the Tuesday class will be starting at 2.30 and the Thursday class will be starting at 3.30. So I guess you already know the time. For the reference that I'm going to use is from the Django Software Foundation. It is a, an organization that developed the Django. They already make an, a documentation. So I will just use this one. Uh, there are a lot of things that you can learn from this documentation. Of course, it contains a lot of uh, pages. You cannot read all of them. So I will just selectively the materials to fit with your requirement. And if you want to check other kind of website for your Django study, then you can just use this website. These are the beginning that they, they'll teach you how to begin with the Django. So I guess it's good for you. The assessment for this course will be like this one. The attendance, participation, and discussion will be 10%. Assignment will be 20%. Midterm exam will be 
progress report and documentation will be 20% and the final project and interview will be 30% who is very huge yeah um, yes you know this is the online course um if we keep with the online course i guess you need to set up some time something for the online uh, it will be counted as 10 percent from your grid okay. and due to the online course this discussion section will be made in the e-class so we can have more discussion in the e-class and i would like to know your opinion your uh, comments okay. so your participation on the discussion will be counted in this assessment and please remember no stupid idea it means just express yourself and uh, don't worry about your English. Any errors in your grammar or any errors in your English is not that big deal, okay? The important thing is your idea. The decision on borderline grades will be based upon exceptional class participation as deemed merited by the course instructor. It means when you are in the end of the semester and you, if your grade is in the borderline and you want to get a higher grade. Yeah, of course, I will check whether you participate a lot in this course or not. If you are doing good participation, um, I will not worry to upgrade yours. For the offline course, okay, uh, I will just follow the university rules. So you. I guess for the offline course, when you have the face-to-face -face class, I will allow you to have one unexcused absence. It means it is an absence without any reason. So you can go whenever, wherever, without any approval from me. Yeah. Other absence require instructor approval. So to be an un to be an excuse absent, you need to inform the instructor in advance of your anticipated absence and receive advance approval. So if you want to go somewhere, if you want to leave the class, let me know in advance. If I approve it, then yeah, I will just regard it as the excuse absence. And approval absence will be given after you have missed class. It's possible with only exceptional circumstances. For example, if you have a traffic accident when you come to school, yeah, of course, I need to give that one as the excuse absence. You will lose your credit when the unexcused absence is greater than one. So you have only one chance to have unexcused absence. A student with four unexcused absence is not eligible to do final project. Okay, remember, don't do four unexcused absence. What about late? Okay, late is very important. Yeah, late for the offline course, you will have some penalty. Okay. If you have three time leads, you will be counted as one absence. Okay, so this is only for the offline course, not the online course. So for the class participation, yeah, I hope that you understand this rule. So if it is the offline course, oops, uh, if it is the offline course, I hope that you follow the rules in my course that, yeah, you cannot do anything which is not related to information system. Okay. So no game during the online class. So the internet is available for learning programming. So if it is related to the information system development, then I'm okay. But not for other stuff, not for online shopping, not for chatting, not for watching video. Okay. I will give you warning. If you disobey the rule, if first warning, then I will give you the participation score zero. If it is a second warning, your mid exam or final exam will be zero. If the third warning, then your final project will be zero. So you know, right? So if it is, if the the three items are zero, then you will not graduate. Okay. Uh, for the assignment the information system development course i will have two types of assignment okay. first is report assignment and the second is the practical assignment for the report assignment i would like to ask the student to explore a problem requested by the instructor so you will write the report on how to solve the problem and the report assignment can be a type of essay and other similar type i will explain to you more about this type of assignment the practical assignment so, 
So this has the timer, okay? <laughs> okay, practical assignment is student need to code to solve a problem set. Okay. So the reward assignment, for example, for example, give your opinion about the proper information system for handling the health issue COVID-19 in your country. Okay. So if you're in Korea, then you can just explain about the Korean case. If you're in other country, then you can try to explain about the proper information system for your country. For the practical assignment, I would like to mention that you need to submit your source code, okay, your source code to the e-class, and you need to make your programs compile. If you cannot make your program compiles, then uh, I think first your you will not get any credit if your programs do not compile, and then you will have no credit when you send your assignment late. Okay. If a program is not working perfectly by the due date, I would like you to give some comments. Give explanation which R is not completed and which R is already completed. Okay. So I can try to assess based on your progress. Uh, plagiarism, oh, this is very important issue, okay? Um, of course, you can discuss with your friends. You can try to find your answers in the internet. Yeah, and you can do anything with your books, articles, and etc. But I hope that your solution should be from yourself. When you submit your source code, it should be from yourself. If you use other resources or collaborate with peers, yeah, don't forget to cite the books, articles, websites, lectures that have helped you. And if you work with your friends, don't forget to list the names of the students who have collaborated with you. Okay? Remember, do not pass the solutions, know or accept them from other students. It's a very important issue. Okay. For the mid exam, I will give you an individual based exam. There will be two types of exam. The first is the written exam. In the written exam, I will give you a problem set and you need to solve it without computer. So you need to understand the idea and then you need to just solve it without computer. For the practical exam, you need to solve the problem with computer. So it means you need to type and you need to write the code. Okay. The final project for this course, I think I will make it uh, into three areas. Okay. So the team can be like two or three students, yeah, but I'm not sure, let's see. Let's see later how many students will enroll this course. I will. I would like to dis distinguish the students, the team into three. If you are doing the weather analytics, you will be in the team A. If you are doing the sensor-based monitoring system, you will be in the team B. And if you are a special team, it means if you choose your own subject, Okay, then you will be in the team C. Okay, so that web analytics, yeah, you some student can join the team A. So it means two under two students. Maybe there are three team A or two team B and four team C. That's also fine. Okay. So the web analytics is about how can you show the analytical system in the web. And also the sensor based monitoring system, how can you use the sensor and how can you analyze the sensor and you show it on the web? But <clears throat> yeah, you can <clears throat> sorry, you can have your own subjects, you can have your own topics based uh, on your idea, and it is upon my uh, approval. So weather analytics means yeah, you need to read the data from the internet. For example, nowadays there are many open API. So you can just use the open weather and then you need to show the analysis on the web. Yeah. The second topic is, is the sensor-based analytics. Yeah. You need to read the data from any sensor. So yeah, you can arrange your own sensor. For example, you have smartphone. Then yeah, you can try to collect the data from the smartphone. And then how can you show the analysis in the web? Oh. <coughs> Or the third topic that you may think is how to develop the information system 
ikut di analisis. Okay. This is the dashboard on the web. So you need to at least make an analysis. Yeah. <coughs> Sorry. All students should be in a team in the mid exam. There are many cases the student cannot have any team. So if you have no team after mid exam, your final project will be zero. So I know that there are many of exchange students and also maybe some of you are the double major student. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, then yeah, if you have any difficulties on team building, let me know. Each team should submit a proposal on the mid-exam period. So I will show you the schedule. So you will, uh, you need to submit a proposal on that period and I will give you a template two weeks before the submission due. Okay. This is very important for this course. When you develop your information system, uh, I need to know the progress. That's why I would like to give the interviews. So the progress report section will be about the interviews. Each team should visit instructor office, which is my office, and show the progress of the team project. And each team need to meet at least three times before final presentation. So you need to visit my office three times, okay? And the time will be determined later. It will be after the mid exam. And fail to meet the instructor may cost demerit points on final project because it is one of the determination of your assessment. If you join this information system for development, I really hope that you already understand the computer programming. If you have the basic idea of the computer programming, I guess it, this course will not be so difficult for you. If you understand the data structure and algorithm, well, of course it is good, okay, but it's optional. Okay. And if you understand database, of course it will be very good. So I don't need to explain everything in advance. So you already have the basic idea about database and you can make the information system development by yourself later with, the understa with your understanding about database. So it is an optional. I will explain a little bit about data structure algorithm. I will explain a little bit about database, but of course it cannot cover all the things. Yeah. So this is the schedule that I built for one semester. Of course, there will be some adjustment. Um, uh, until now, I, I guess this is the schedule that I'm going to use for one semester and uh, the interview if you see this one the interview is in the later part after for the final project presentation so i will adjust later so i need to have one more time for the after the final project presentation if i need to have the discussion with you okay so this you can see the topic that we are going to discuss for every week and this is the time and as you might know we have on uh, only 15 weeks, so there's one week left, and uh, one week left uh, can be used for the meeting. <clears throat> so I will uh, put my available schedule, and you can choose among the available schedule so we can discuss about the report that you will make later. About the things that you need to prepare for this course, yeah, you can just prepare your resources like books and articles. I'm not sure about the books, but I already explained to you that the articles in the internet is good for the beginning of the information system development with Django. And you need to prepare the integrated development environment. There are some IDE or integrated development environment that is good for Django. You can use Eclipse, you can use NetBeans, you can use Intelligent IDE, and yeah, PyCharm. For, for this semester, I think I will use PyCharm. It's very useful, it's very flexible, and you can use your ID, okay? Okay, this is for the installation of the PyCharm. 
So I hope that uh, before you install the PyCharm, you have your university email address. So the I I, I know that you most of you are not freshmen, right? so at least you know already about the university's policy and how can you make the university email address. If you have your university email address, you can download the academic version. <clears throat> so the academic version means the version that is free for students with academic email address. So that's why I recommend you try to make your email address first. And after you have your email address, you can download the PyCharm from this link. Okay. And in, in addition to this academic version, you need to also download Python and Anaconda. So the Python is later to build the Django project and the Anaconda is for the analytics purpose. Okay, the things that you need to know, uh, now we are doing the online course. Uh, I cannot manage all the things in the online, but I will help you if you have any issues in the offline. So when you do the offline course, we will uh, use the room 203. Okay? In the 203, it is a computer room and there are many seats in the room. And when you do with the computer room, um, yeah, I hope that you can sit in the same computer seat every week because you need to maintain the continuity of learning programming. So every week I will give you an example. I will give you some uh, guidelines to uh, run your program. If you know something, then maybe you will type your description or your explanation in your code, in your IDE. So if you move your seat to another code, I am afraid that you will have difficulties to follow because you said that, okay, my file is in that computer. How, how can I copy that file? Okay. So the kind of issue may occur. That's why I would like to recommend you just sit on the same seat every week. It will be more, more convenient. Or if you, say that oh sir i just use my personal laptop okay then this fine okay please try to install python and pycharm okay i guess in the computer room there is uh python but no pycharm so i will install the pycharm and once you have the pycharm yeah you know uh you need to use the half email address okay? so once you have the half email address it will be the academic version automatically Computer is a good tool, but sometimes it's not a good friend. Okay, you need to remember that one. The error during the exam is the responsibility of the student. Okay, so make sure that you have a good laptop or at least your laptop is error free. And when you do this kind of exam, I hope that you also use the good computer. So whenever you find a bad computer in the room 203, please let me know so I can try to handle how to solve the problems. Okay, this is new thing in this semester. So I will create a Facebook group. Maybe you will ask me why we need to have this one? Why don't we just use e-class? Yeah. Uh, I guess this is a good way to communicate people will not use e-class mm, all the time most of the time okay? but we will check our social media so facebook is one of the good social media as uh, topic based social media so when you create a post and then you create a topic you will uh, make a group discussion about that particular topic if you generate another topic, then you will have another group discussion about that particular topic. So the Facebook group is um, good social media to discuss. <clears throat> so I hope that this group can be used to dis to share the ideas, questions, problems related to OPS not data science. Uh, this is about the information system. Okay. So uh, when we have this group, I hope that you can utilize this group to do many things. Yeah. And I will post some things that might 
give you some clues or exercise or answers on problems and questions that you may have during the class of information system development. Of course, uh, I cannot uh, inform you all the things with the time limitation in one semester, but I really hope that I can give you many things. Yeah. So I will share some things in the Facebook group and that I can uh, give you some ideas. I can give, give you some hints in the Facebook group. I just run this Facebook group for one semester. So last semester I started to run this Facebook group and um, I really hope that you also participate to make this group active. And whenever someone gives questions, every of you can also give the answers. Not only me, but all of you can also share your ideas. And if you have any issues with your computer, for example, once you install Django, there is a problem, then you can share also your problems in this group. And because you, there are some foreigners and there are some Koreans, there might be some uh, language issue and Facebook gives the solutions. Okay? <laughs> you know, when you type something in Facebook, you can see the translation, automatic translation provided by Facebook. So it will be very good tool for us to manage the conversation when that kind of uh, automatic translation service is available. So that's why I would like to use Facebook group for our communication as well. Instead of the e-class, this is the official, the unofficial, the Facebook group also will be used for our communication. Okay, I guess that's all for our first meeting about the syllabus. I hope that you will keep going with this course and see you on next time.